while the dollar has been strong relative to other currencies, it's still weakening relative to you know other scarce assets. Uh, and uh, the dollar index itself could be taking a, a bit of a, a breather here after such a strong period. Um, and you know, if you look around the world, gold is still the biggest monetary base. So some countries like the United States or China have bigger broad money supplies than the estimated amount of gold that exists. Um, but in terms of the actual monetary base, um, gold gold is the biggest one still. More central banks are deciding to, to increase their gold allocation relative to treasury allocation. Some of this is because they now recognize treasuries as a confiscatable asset, potentially. For years, we kind of saw gold break out in most currencies other than the dollar. And now we're just kind of finally seeing it also break out in the dollar, which I think is, is structurally important. Lynn Alden's recent insights have set ripples across the investment community, particularly as she highlights concerns that could have profound implications for the future. Her warnings are rooted in the structural vulnerabilities of the global financial system, specifically the risks associated with persistent fiscal deficits, the weakening of the U.S. dollar, and the evolving landscape of interest rates and inflation. Alden has consistently warned that the U.S. economy, and by extension the global economy, is entering a period of heightened fiscal dominance, where fiscal policy overshadows monetary policy. This shift means that traditional monetary tools are becoming less effective, and the structural issues within the economy are more likely to drive market outcomes. One of her key concerns is the sustainability of the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. With gold prices recently surpassing the $2,500 mark, Alden interprets this as a clear signal that confidence in fiat currencies, particularly the U.S. dollar, is waning. The U.S. dollar's strength has been eroded by massive fiscal deficits, and while it remains dominant, the cracks in its foundation are becoming more apparent. This decline in the dollar's purchasing power is exacerbated by the global trend of central banks increasing their gold reserves a move that reflects diminishing trust in the long-term value of sovereign debt, especially U.S. Treasuries. Alden's concerns are not just speculative, they are grounded in historical precedent. She draws parallels between the current environment and the early 2000s when the dollar last experienced significant weakness. During that period, similar conditions, a combination of fiscal recklessness, a strong dollar, and eventual rate cuts led to a prolonged bull market in gold and other hard assets. Alden suggests that we may be on the cusp of a similar scenario, where the U.S. dollar could enter a prolonged period of weakness, sparking a flight to safety assets like gold. Alden's rationale is deeply rooted in her understanding of macroeconomic cycles and the interplay between fiscal and monetary policy. She argues that the Federal Reserve's recent interest rate hikes, while aggressive, have not had the expected disinflationary impact because the U.S. economy has become increasingly rate-insensitive. This insensitivity is due to the fact that much of the economy, both corporate and household sectors, has locked in long-term debt at historically low rates. As a result, small rate hikes or cuts are unlikely to significantly alter economic behavior in the short term. Moreover, Alden points out that the structural inflation we are witnessing is not merely a result of cyclical factors, but is also driven by long-term fiscal imbalances. The massive increase in public debt, coupled with ongoing fiscal deficits, has created an environment where inflationary pressures are likely to persist even if economic growth slows. This stagflationary environment, characterized by stagnant growth and persistent inflation, poses a unique challenge for both policymakers and investors. Alden also emphasizes the geopolitical factors that are contributing to the current economic climate. The ongoing realignment of global power, particularly the shift away from U.S.-centric financial systems, is leading more countries to diversify their reserves away from the dollar. This shift is being accelerated by the recognition that U.S. treasuries are no longer the safe haven asset they once were, especially given the growing risk of political and economic instability in the U.S. Recent economic data supports Alden's concerns. For instance, the U.S. fiscal deficit for 2023 was reported at $1.7 trillion, a figure that underscores the unsustainable trajectory of government spending. This deficit, which is nearly 7% of GDP, has been primarily financed through the issuance of more debt, pushing the U.S. national debt to over $33 trillion. As Alden points out, this level of debt is manageable only as long as interest rates remain low and global demand for U.S. debt remains strong, both of which are increasingly uncertain. On the inflation front, while official measures have shown some moderation, the core inflation rate remains stubbornly above the Federal Reserve's target of 2%. This persistence in core inflation reflects deeper structural issues, such as rising labor costs and supply chain disruptions, that are not easily addressed through monetary policy alone. 
The Federal Reserve's own projections suggest that inflation could remain above target for several years, which aligns with Alden's view that we are entering a period of sustained inflationary pressure. Additionally, the global move towards de-dollarization has gained momentum. Countries like China and Russia have been actively reducing their reliance on the dollar and trade and reserve holdings. The BRICS nations have even discussed creating a new currency for international trade, which could further erode the dollar's dominance. Central banks around the world have been increasing their gold reserves at a record pace, with global gold reserves reaching their highest levels in decades. This trend is a direct response to the perceived risks of holding too much U.S. debt in a world of rising geopolitical tensions and fiscal uncertainty. Given the challenging landscape Alden describes, she advocates for a diversified investment approach that includes a significant allocation to hard assets, such as gold and commodities. These assets are likely to perform well in an environment of currency debasement and persistent inflation. Alden also recommends exposure to energy producers and other commodity-based sectors. These industries tend to benefit from inflation and show resilience in times of economic uncertainty. For example, despite the recent pullback in oil prices, the long-term demand for energy remains strong, driven by global economic growth and the transition towards renewable energy sources. Investing in companies with strong balance sheets and a focus on essential commodities can provide a hedge against inflation and potential currency devaluation. In addition to hard assets, Alden suggests considering emerging markets, particularly those with strong fundamentals and less exposure to U.S. dollar-denominated debt. As the dollar weakens, these markets could see a resurgence offering attractive returns relative to developed markets. Countries with solid current account surpluses and growing domestic economies are particularly well-positioned to benefit from a shift away from dollar dominance. Lastly, Alden advises maintaining a flexible investment strategy that can adapt to changing market conditions. This includes being prepared for potential market corrections and having a plan in place to capitalize on opportunities that arise during periods of volatility. For instance, while gold and commodities are likely to perform well in the long run, there may be short-term pullbacks that present buying opportunities. Lynn Alden's insights into the current macroeconomic environment provide a sobering assessment of the challenges facing investors today. Her warnings about the sustainability of the U.S. dollar, the persistence of inflation, and the risks of fiscal dominance are grounded in a deep understanding of economic history and current trends. By supporting her views with the latest data and offering practical investment strategies, Alden provides a roadmap for navigating the uncertain waters ahead. For investors, the key takeaway is clear. Diversification, a focus on hard assets, and a flexible approach are essential to weathering the potential storms on the horizon.